So we got some bad news, some more bad news, and some awesome news. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, and what is up? And welcome back to the channel for another video. Today we're gonna to be going over and addressing the RFZ. Last you saw it, I had the cover off the bike. Um, we're doing some diagnosis, trying to figure out what was exactly going on with my transmission. I took it by the shop. Uh, it's bad news, piece number one. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna be able to take my bike now on my trip that I was gonna be doing next week, uh, where I was gonna be taking my rig here. I was gonna be taking my truck and we we're gonna be going on a trip across BC and I was gonna take the dirt bike and I had a couple spots lined up that were like some trail spots that you could literally just go and ride the bike. Like from the camp spot, you could go up into the trails right from where you're camping, which would've been super cool. But now, unfortunately, because of this transmission issue, I just, I can't take it with me because I just don't have time to try and source parts and get them shipped here because shipping takes about two weeks to get parts to me. Uh, so, bad news number two uh, is that my bike is pretty well toast. Um, so that's really shitty because I won't be riding it probably for another like three weeks before we get back out onto a trail. Uh, and that's thanks to this transmission issue uh, that, well, I am not riding. So I'll go ahead and show you the diagnosis of what the mechanic said when I was at the shop. And this mechanic is just a good personal buddy so he's not, he's not trying to gouge me or try to sell me on something. He was just being an honest guy like, hey look, this is what I'm thinking is going on, this is what I think it is, so. And he showed me a little tidbit of information that I did not know, so here I'll go ahead and I'm gonna take the casing off my bike. I had stuck the casing just back on for transporting because obviously you don't want this to be open just sitting, but all the gearing and stuff is all outside of the bike, like the clutch pack and all that shit's already out of it. So I'm going ahead, I'm gonna pop this cover off uh, and I will show you guys what he was showing me that shouldn't be happening inside of there that is. But before we get into that, I want to share the one good thing that we do have is that we hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Mind blown. Woohoo! One thousand subscribers. So make sure you guys go ahead and enter that giveaway in our other video if you haven't. Not a lot of you guys entered, so there's a really good odd you can win some stuff. So make sure you guys go and enter. I think there's like three or four people entered. So if you guys haven't, you might as well. You're going to win something. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. Let's get right back into the video. All right, now that we have our casing open, here I'll zoom you guys in. If you guys remember, this is your star wheel. Uh, and the original issue we had was this arm here with my left finger was coming down and then this rod here was coming up and sliding up on top of this wheel here and getting bound up. Now our issue is I'm going to grab the shifter on the other side of the bike, pay attention to the star wheel. So I go to go up, sorry, wrong way. I go to go into first gear, it worked, second gear worked third gear didn't work. So you can see there the star wheel hasn't rotated that last quarter turn that needs to for this tooth right here to be able to grab, I know you can't really see it, but right behind each one of these nubs is a dowel pin that's going in and getting caught on that little pincher arm. Those are the little dowels. Nonetheless, we're back to the, what he was showing us. So his first thought of what could be broken was in behind here, there's a little, an extra set of behind those dowel pins, there's a plate and behind that plate, there's another dowel pin. He was thinking maybe that dowel pin sheared off and that this gear was maybe spinning freely and not fully engaging, not the issue. What we noticed is, so I'll go back into neutral. Okay, that is neutral there. So this gear right here, when I grab it, I should be able to spin it when it's in neutral, right? No problem, okay? That spins. And what's weird about it too is that it spins and it gets kind of like hard, like tough there, tough, 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 and then super easy. So that was kind of funky. But then we go into first gear, right? Oh, we got, we got bound. See, now it's not even going, now we can't even get the star wheel to engage first. Oh, I can't even get it to go into first gear now to show you guys because it's so fucked up. So, I'd say it's very clearly that this thing is porked. Now all I'm doing is using the screwdriver on that star wheel to try and get it to rotate that. You'll see something's... There we go. Now you're up in fifth gear. And that was the other thing too he was telling me, I remember now, is that it, it, the bike only should wanna shift when this specific gear here shift is moving. So there's first gear. 
And this is where he said that this is where it's like noticeable that something is wrong. So it's in first gear and he's able to grab this and spin it. And he says right there, that's your dead giveaway. You're, it should be locked like that. Oh, and see, and then it moves. And it's letting go. And it gets really tight. And you can barely turn it and then it's locked. And then it goes. So it's, something's not, something's fucked up on the inside of the casing. So now this is where I'm gonna need your help. Uh, I need to decide on what I'm gonna do with the bike. Whether it's gonna be, take the engine, pull it out, and stick it up onto the bench, try and fix it, pull the transmission, pull that all apart. Uh, or we're gonna go ahead, so online you can order a 125cc, they're out of stock. There's a 140cc, they're out of stock. There's a 150cc, they're out of stock. So the only thing there is available for order right now is a 160cc or 190cc to try and swap into the bike. So what idea do you guys like more? What do you wanna see more? Do you guys wanna see me take the, the engine out, put it up on the bench, pull it apart, do all that? Or do you guys wanna see a swap into the bike? Or third option is buy a new bike and work on this engine on the side and film that as well. So what, what would you guys like to choose? Uh, what do you guys wanna see? Whether it's between those three options, so let me know. If you guys wanna see any more of the video of me riding the bike, you can go ahead and click some right here. Uh, you can subscribe down here, click videos up there. There's some awesome videos of me riding the bike before it blew up, so make sure you guys go ahead and check those out. Make sure you let me know which of those three choices you guys wanna see in the next video, so make sure you leave a comment down below. Subscribe to some more videos on uh, the updates of what we do, whether that's swapping in a 160, a 190 CC, rebuilding the engine, pulling the transmission. I'm gonna do a lot of learning videos for you guys. You're gonna have a lot of information coming so make sure you guys subscribe to see that stuff when it comes out thank you guys so much for watching peace out till next time